Okay, let's try to solve this problem. This is under motion with constant acceleration. A car is driving on the turnpike, accelerates uniformly, so that means uniform acceleration or constant acceleration in a straight line from 88 feet per second to 110 feet per second or 75 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds or 3.50 seconds. The first question is what is the car's acceleration and the second question is how far does the car travel while it accelerates? Medyo madali lang yung problem because this is uh, for the quest first question it's, it's only asking for the acceleration of the car. So gamit ng tawag definition of acceleration that is the change in velocity over a period of time. And given yung change in velocity it accelerated or nikosog iyang dagan from 88 feet per second to 110 feet per second sa sulod or within 3.50 seconds. Napakadali. So therefore, how do we answer letter A? Since nag-memorize tayo ng tatlong formula, yun yung gamitin natin. So if we try or we, we use the formula VF is equal to VI plus AT, we have the initial velocity and the final velocity and the time so we can solve for the acceleration so final velocity is 110 that's equal to initial velocity this that is in feet per second the initial velocity is 88 plus acceleration which is unknown times the time which is 3.50 seconds so if we solve for a we'll have 110 minus 88 over 3.50 which is just a definition of acceleration the change in velocity over a period of time so that is equal to whatever will calculator give us okay 6.29 what's a unit unit 6.29 feet per second per second or yes it's feet per second square because that's feet this is in feet per second divided by second so that's feet per second per second or feet per second squared that's our answer for letter A. Napakadali. How about letter B? How far does the car travel while it accelerates? For letter B, we are asked to get the distance covered or the displacement while nag-accelerate siya. So what formula should we use? That involves initial velocity, uh, initial velocity, final velocity, and time. Either second or third, right? If we use the second formula, that is S is equal to initial velocity times time plus acceleration times squared over 2, then we have to use the acceleration and the time. No? Given naman yung acceleration or nakuha na yung acceleration. So therefore, the distance covered while it accelerates or uh, as it accelerates from, from 88 to 110 <coughs> is this. The initial velocity was 88 times. It took 3.50 seconds to move at, up to 110. Plus, the acceleration was, yun lang, the our problem here is nagkuan man ta, nag, sana, nag round off ta dire. So, meaning, merong konting, konting variation of the, of the value kung if we solve it directly or if we, if we solve it using another formula. But it should be too close. So, our acceleration is 6.29 times the time which is 3.50 squared then divide by 2 then you'll have the distance you may compare your answer using this formula vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2as sana na memorize na ha mga ano baya mo so final velocity that's 110 squared is equal to 88 squared plus 2 times acceleration which is 6.29 times distance you should give us that should give us the same answer Paro ta answer, 346.53. What's a unit? Consistent mata, this is feet per second. Second, feet per, feet per second squared. Second squared over 2. So that's in feet. Diba? How about here? If we have 110, gamit tayo ng calculator, bakit ba? So if I use 110 squared, oh sorry. 110 that's equal to 88 squared <clears throat> plus 2 times 6.29 times s the answer is the same 346.26 oi okay ba yung answer by 
Because we're na ground off kasi tayo. Mm, that's a complication. Pero tama ba yung mga given ko? 110? 26 feet per se, uh, feet. So we have uh, some sort of discrepancy. By the way, tama ba yung, baka iba yung ano? I'll recheck. Oh, may discrepancy talaga siya. It's because of the rounding off. Okay na. So if a car, uh, no, if the velocity of a certain vehicle or a certain object is moving, uh, I mean is slowing down or is decreasing, that means acceleration is negative or that's deceleration. So you need to consider that. So let's look for another problem. Okay, let's try to answer this problem. Let me read this again. So na imagine natin. For example, if I say this is the total length of the ramp, say, na lang diha. And according to the problem, this is 120 meters long. So let's say the car started from here and it started from rest. Nagawat siya or it's waiting for the traffic the traffic to clear up. Then nag-accelerate siya. So from velocity, let's call the this end of the ramp as point A and the other end of the ramp as point B. So at point A, what is the velocity? Ano sabi sa problem? What is the velocity if we interpret the problem? The car starts from, okay, the car starts from rest. So therefore, what is the velocity at point A? Zero. So as it reaches the, uh, it, as it reaches point B, what is the velocity at point B? So anong sabi doon sa problem? What did the problem say? The car starts from rest in a straight line and has a speed of 20 meters per second when it reaches the end of the 120 meter long ramp. So from rest, as it reaches the 120 long stretch of the ramp, ang yung velocity dire, or its velocity right here is 20. So meaning at point B, 20 meters per second na yung speed, or yung velocity, I mean. Okay? <clears throat> na? So let's answer the, prob the questions. Letter A, what is the acceleration of the car? So for letter A, we are asked for the acceleration of the car. How do we solve that? <clears throat> what formula should we use that needs the initial velocity, the final velocity, and the distance in getting the acceleration? What? So we'll try the third formula. That's final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times the distance. So what is our final velocity here? The velocity at B. That's equal to the initial velocity, which is velocity at A, plus twice of the acceleration, which is a known, times the total distance of the ramp. Okay? So, ato na lang direction, no? So, the velocity at B is 120. And the velocity at A, but raised to 0, squared ni siya. But this is equal to 0 based on what was given. So, plus... Uh, 2 times A times the distance, which is 120. Then we could now solve for the acceleration, which is equal to 20 squared over 2 times 120. 1.67. What's the unit? Consistent ba yung mga unit natin? Remember, yung 20 is given as meter per second, and yung distance is in meter. So, therefore, this is 1.67 meter per Second squared. That is our answer. Very easy. How about letter B? Analyze. How, uh, how do we interpret this? How much time does it take the car to travel the length of the ramp? Unsa, unsa, or what is unknown for letter B? Time from, from point A to point B. So let's call that T. So by in first formula, you can compare that to Initial velo uh, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus times uh, plus acceleration times time. Diba? So given I mean a solving acceleration 1.67. So we'll have the final velocity, remember that's 20, equal to the initial velocity. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. That's zero because it started from rest, plus the acceleration in which na solve the 1.67 times time. So therefore, time is just 20 over 1.67. Pana lang para eksakto up to two decimal places, 9, uh, 11.98 seconds or 12 seconds. <clears throat> Let us compare that if we use a second formula in which we'll be using distance equal to <clears throat> initial velocity times time. 
plus acceleration times squared over 2. So what is our distance covered? It's 120. That's the length of the ramp. That's equal to the initial velocity, 0. Plus acceleration, which is 1.67. We don't know the time over 2. So let us compare if we'll have a similar or the same answer. Okay, so we have an, the same answer, 11 point. Ah, it's 11.99 na dire. Seconds. Hmm. The ground off man ta. So we'll have the same answer. So for letter C, na follow pa. Sayon ra ka kayo, no? For letter C, sayon pa. Mangita, taglisod-lisod. For letter C, the traffic on the freeway is moving at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. Okay? So yung sa freeway, yung traffic sa freeway is already moving. What distance does the traffic travel while the car is moving at the length of the ramp? How will you solve this? Ito. Ang hinahanap po is the distance traveled by the traffic. Okay, velocity of traffic. Of the traffic na lang. Para sa ito. Which is constant 20 meters per second. Then what's, what's next? Distance traveled. So, meaning you are considering, kung ano yung hinihingi din sa problem, ito, distance traffic, while the car is moving the length of the ramp. So, we'll consider that time the car moves sa length ng ramp, no? Which is, kana atong nasolve. <clears throat> it took 12 seconds for the car to move from one end to, of the ramp to the other end of the ramp. So, distance, not distance traveled, but the time. Uh, let's use, pila kaya atong Mas eksakto diri. I think mas eksakto ang 11.98 <clears throat> seconds. Okay. So, how do we solve this? Since we are dealing with the distance, how do you solve for the distance? Distance is equal to initial velocity times time plus acceleration times squared over 2. The question is, what is our acceleration na gagamitin natin dito? The traffic is uh, on the freeway is moving at a constant speed. So, what does that mean? Constant ang speed. Wala, mag-usmosab ang speed. And we know that acceleration is the change in the speed or velocity with respect to time or uh, at, uh, during a time period. So, kung wala kay change in velocity, that means wala kang acceleration. ba? Zero ang imong change in the speed. So, since constant ang speed, zero ang acceleration, mo, actually, may answer na si Denver kanina, Di ko lang pinansin. Para may explanation. Zero ang iyang acceleration. Constant speed. So therefore, kanila atong gabi na napukuhan na equation. So we'll have S. What is our S? Mga kung atong ipangita. So unknown is equal to the velocity times the time. Kasa yun, Manday. But of course, we need to explain this in detail para kahit ba mo sa concept kung baliktad baliktaro na to ang inyong kuan ang question kaya sabot gihapon mo dili mo ma dili mo mawala pila ni 9.60 then that is our answer napakadali okay let's read this again first a subway train starts from rest at a station and accelerate oh. atong buhaton what we will do the whole distance from station, let's call this station 1, and let's call this station 2. Station 1 and station 2. Okay, then tatlo yung condition, so let's divide this into three parts. Um, from here to here, let's call that the first condition, and from there to there, second condition. So how about if I, paano ba? Sige, I label, labeled station 1 as A, the next Point is B, this is C, and station 2 as D. Ganun na lang. So, from A to B, that's the first condition. Uh, Nag-start siya from rest, so meaning the velocity here is 0. And nag-accelerate siya at a rate of 1.6 meter per second squared. So, I'll write here ang iyong acceleration, 1.6 meter per second squared at a duration of 14 seconds. Okay. Okay. The next condition is this. It runs at a constant speed. So, pag-abot niya, Dere, 
constant speed na siya, 470 seconds. Okay? So, dere, the time here is 70 seconds. That's from B to C. 70 seconds. And constant iyang speed. So, ano yung interpretation natin? Pag constant ang speed? Okay. So, meaning wala ni siya acceleration. Wait, this is acceleration na. Yan. Then, the next condition is, uh, nag-slow down siya at a rate of 3.5 meter per seconds. So, anong ibig sabihin ng nag-slow down? Nag-slow down 3.5 meter per seconds. What does that mean? How do you interpret that? The acceleration is negative or nag-decelerate. So, that's deceleration. That's negative 3.50 meter per second squared. Until it stops, meaning nag-stop siya dire. Sa D, how do you interpret that? Okay, the velocity at D, the velocity here is zero. Yun. So, meaning we'll just get the distance. Let's call this S1, S2, and S3. This is S1, this is S2, and this is S3. Yan. Okay, for S1, solving for S1. So, 1 from A to B. That's S1. How do we solve that? Given the rate is the initial velocity 0, acceleration and time. Initial velocity, acceleration and time. What formula should we use? Kaduha. Katong distance is equal to initial velocity times time plus acceleration times squared over 2. Kana itong gamiton. Kay, mawama na itong ipangita. S. Yeah, given ang initial velocity o ang time o acceleration. So therefore, what is our S1? At ang ipangita. The initial velocity is 0 times time plus sa to, acceleration given. That's 1.6 meter per second squared at a duration of 14 seconds. So, over 2. So, what is our answer? With your calculator, solve this. So, 156.80. The This is in ano ba units natin? Mga lagi meters. That's our first distance. How about for the second distance or the second condition? For the second condition, we have from B to C. We need to get S2. Now, the conditions here are, wala siya acceleration, pero meaning constant yung speed for 70 seconds. So, meaning, kinahalan makuha na ang speed dere. How do we get the speed here from B to C? So, what we need to do is just to get the velocity at this point B. And that would be the constant velocity na um, he will be moving with until umabot siya sa C. Diba? So, yung ganun yung concept niya. So, in order to get the velocity at B, of course, we need to get the values. Uh, I mean, we need to solve it from here. So, eto. If we make a, a reference pa rin yung from A to B, then, we know that the velocity from the formula, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. That means our final velocity is the velocity at B that's equal to the initial velocity, that's velocity at A, plus acceleration times time. So, velocity at B now is equal to our velocity at A, of course, it started from rest, 0, plus acceleration. We have an acceleration of 1.6 times a time of 14. So, 1.6 times 14. So therefore, uh, the car is moving at at 22.4 uh, meter per second. That's meter per second. So that means uh, at the velocity at B is 22.4 meter per second. So that would be the same velocity at C because constant siya, 22.4 meter per second. Constant siya from B to C. So, because constant ang velocity, there's no acceleration. So, to solve for distance, of course, to solve for distance BC, which is S2, we'll have S2 is equal to, recall again the formula, S is equal to VIT plus AT squared over 2. And since wala tayong acceleration, this is equal to 0. Okay. Now, the initial velocity is just the velocity. So, therefore, S2 is equal to the velocity, which is 22.4 times the time it took for it to move. That is 70 seconds times 70. So, therefore, that's 22.4 times 70. 
and that is 1,568 meters. So this is now the distance covered at eto, the second, second condition from B to C. Now from C to D, for, from C to D we have the initial velocity here now is 22.4 the velocity at C, and the final velocity is zero. And if we have an acceleration or deceleration of negative 3.50 meter per second squared. So what formula should we use that involves the initial velocity, the final velocity, and the acceleration in getting the distance? That would be third formula. So for the formula from, or I mean, for number three, that's the condition from C, to D or that's the last station, station 2, from C to D, that would be our S3. Okay? So if we recall the formula, final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus twice the acceleration and times the distance. Our final velocity is the velocity at D which is 0. So therefore, 0 squared is equal to initial velocity and that would be the velocity at C which is 22.4. So time equal, that's equal to 22.4 squared plus 2 times the acceleration, which is negative 3.50 times the distance, which is S3. So we, we'll just have to solve for S3. So S3 now is just equal to, okay, so that would be 22.4 squared over 2 times 3.50. So that would be our S3. That is 71.68 meters. That is the distance at the distance of S3. So the total distance now, let's call that ST. That would be equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. So our S1 or the first distance that is 156.80 then plus S2, which is 15.68 plus 71.68, all in meters. So the answer is 1,796.48 meters. That is our answer. Napakadali. So in the next meeting, we will be discussing about um, vertical motions or yung mga free fall na.